What is up guys? Chris here, Bear Market Mining. Welcome back. Thanks for stopping by once again. We have another video for you today. We are going to talk about how you can use your KS0 Ultra from Ice River and earn Bitcoin. So there are a ton of different coins you can mine with this KS0 Ultra, but today we will focus on Bitcoin. And if you want to see uh, another way to mine all these other coins, let me know down in the comments. And we're also going to talk about securing that Bitcoin or any crypto in general. So if you're leaving your coins on an online wallet, you're at risk. Please don't do it. Even some of these, uh, you know, these desktop wallets have some sort of trackers in them, but definitely a better option in most cases than online wallets. So we'll go through how to set up that KS0 Ultra and then we will talk about how you can secure your Bitcoin. Let's get straight into it. Okay, so the first thing you are going to want to do is head on over to nicehash.com. I'll leave all the links for all this stuff in the description so you won't have to go looking for it. We'll make it nice and easy for you. So head on over to nicehash.com, make yourself an account. It'll ask you to verify emails, um, all that sort of stuff. So it's nice and secure. Once you have made an account, you will go into your dashboard, which is right here. So into your mining section. So we're going to need a wallet address, obviously. So your wallet address in NiceHash is going to be where you're going to be sending this Bitcoin to initially. So it will head into your NiceHash wallet and then you can send it from there whenever you like. So you will click on this link here, mining address. It will come up with your wallet address and you will need to take note of that, copy that down. So we are then going to head into our, into our, uh, our user dashboard for our uh, for our KS0 Ultra. So once you're in there, um, we've all been in here before. Now, if you need any information on how to set this up, I will leave a card up in the description here, one of those cards somewhere, and it will take you how to set all of this up if it's the first time you're seeing it. But first things first, your wallet address is gonna go right in here. Bang, bang, bang. And as a little side note, at the end of your wallet address, I would put in, well, I wouldn't put in, you have to put in a dot and then you can enter your own uh, name for your worker. So I've just got KSO Ultra, keep it nice and simple, but you can call it whatever you want. I've seen some random, random names out there, but for me, KS0 Ultra. Now we're also going to need a pool address. So once again, I will leave this link in the description or you can copy mine exactly. Um, but I'll leave a link for this in the page. So over on NiceHash, the K heavy hash, which is the Casper algorithm, um, that is a pool you can mine to. And uh, we have it right here highlighted. Now I'm using the Stratum plus TCP. You can try with the Stratum SSL. It didn't work for me, but the TCP did. So that's what we're going with. We're then going to copy that link and head straight back to our user interface. And that is it right there. So we're gonna enter that in nice and easy. We'll save that. And then of course, restart the miner, redo your fan speeds because for some reason, Ice River can't get the fan speed situation sorted out. I Don't ask me why, with how many hundreds of millions of dollars they're making off that, but whatever, um, easy done. And then you'll head back over to your uh, dashboard right here. And as you can see, making about two bucks at the moment, 463 giga hash, so it's doing pretty well. And it's as simple as that, guys. Just as simple as that. Change the wallet address, change the pool address, and you're into NiceHash after you've made an account. Now, like I said in the introduction, if you want to see how you can mine um, using the K heavy hash algorithm and say get paid out in ethereum um you know flux whatever you're looking to mine there's so many different options i can make a video on that for you just let me know down in the comments there and i did also want to briefly mention um, there has been a firmware upgrade for those of you who don't know with the ks0 ultra and i'll send a link for that as well this is the file that you want to download here iceriver.io forward slash firmware dash download um, head over to there 
and then straight back into your uh, user interface. Very simple guys, firmware upgrade on the left. You won't be able to see my left tabs because I've got it cropped out. Yep, correct. Select file, bang, bang, bang. It is really, really that simple and you're up and away and uh, and earning Bitcoin, which is, uh, which is really nice. And if you wanted to change for something else, I personally am sticking with Casper as his hash rate skyrockets and gets higher and higher and higher. So we'll get that as much as possible. But for those who are more interested in Bitcoin, Look, Bitcoin's a more solid play than anything else. You can't change my mind. I don't think anyone would disagree with that, but Casper, loving it at the moment. But just another little option there for you guys and a, just a, a quick little run through on how you can potentially change what you're yielding uh, with that KSO Ultra and the, uh, the K heavy hash algorithm. So next up, we're going to take a couple of minutes and talk about securing that Bitcoin that we've just mined through NiceHash because in today's day and age, cyber theft is at an all time high. It's running rampant and you don't want to take a risk with those investments, all that time, money and electricity you're investing. It's definitely not worth risking to lose. So the EliPal Titan 2.0, it's the latest uh, hardware wallet from EliPal. Um, offers unmatched security as far as I'm concerned, and it will keep your uh, your crypto safe. So let's have a quick look at a few of the features. So first up, as we can see, uh, air gapped security. So this means that basically the device is 100% offline. It requires uh, QR codes for transactions, things like that. So it basically renders it immune for remote attacks if you've set it up properly. Um, so just imagine peace of mind massive peace of mind knowing that your crypto it's not going to uh you're not going to wake up one morning and have it completely drained uh, from your account when you wake up in the morning all of those online accounts and key loggers it also features this uh secure element it's a ccea 5l eal5 plus sorry secure element which includes a tamper proof chip this provides an extra layer of security and it also ensures that your uh, your private keys remain protected and away from physical tampering it also combines hardware and software security, providing dual layer defense against all forms of attack. And this also includes on-chain attacks. So for instance, if said coin that you're holding um, is on a blockchain and that blockchain gets doxxed, attacked, all these wallets and accounts that are online or even on your PC get drained, you'll be safe with the Alipal. You know, you're completely offline there. So really, really good peace of mind. Also featuring an anti-temper anti design, it comes with a full metal seal uh, and an anti-temper mechanism. So if uh, if any tampering is detected, basically your device, it will self-destruct. Now it's not going to explode, don't worry, but uh, your keys won't be compromised. People won't be able to get in if tampering is uh, detected. So it's, uh, it's pretty crucial, you know, if, if this was to get stolen um, or you'd lose it somehow and someone was trying to get into it, you're, you're really protected there. It is also a uh, really, really user friendly and can support up to 10,000 coins. So huge for us crypto miners who are mining day to day, week to week, trying to stack a whole bunch of different coins in this bear market. So there's plenty of versatility there and also allowing you to store uh, NFTs. If you've got NFTs, I know they were huge a couple of years ago. Um, and I think people are still pretty into them. Um, I'm, I'm a bit out of the loop with that sort of stuff, but I, I hear about them a lot. So that's always a good thing. There is also a secret secondary wallet. So it's uh, it's for added privacy. It includes this in the features when you buy one. So it allows you to store part of your assets in another wallet that remains concealed, kind of like having a, uh, you know, like a, a restore um, email, um, so to speak, that sort of thing. So they're pretty good there. More security once again. And also a, uh, a new version has come out, 4.0. So it overall enhances the security and functionality of the wallet. Few more security updates, uh, updates, the quality of life update as well, a lot smoother, a lot easier to use. And uh, I've used this myself, it takes a few minutes to set up. So it's absolutely fantastic, really, really easy. So as we know, when it comes to securing your crypto, you, you just can't afford to take any risks with all the effort that's involved in mining. You don't want to be one of those people that you hear about, you know, storing their coins in an online wallet. And as we said earlier, waking up in there, and they're just gone, it does happen. Um, so it's a great choice for both beginners and experienced miners, especially with that really uh, easy UI for the uh, for the beginners as well. Overall, just a really good option as far as I'm concerned for cold storage. I am using one myself. 
definitely recommend it. And if you are interested in grabbing one, there is a link in the description. It'll take you right there and you can go and grab yourself one today. That will wrap it up for today, guys. Just a quick little video for you on how to earn some Bitcoin and also on how to, uh, to secure your crypto. Pretty important stuff. If you like the video, make sure you like the video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.